Hey guys, this is Red, and welcome to another episode of our Minecraft Dungeons Let's Play. Uh, so, um, one thing you will notice is that I ordered some new recording equipment. I mentioned this in the channel update video, but I have the uh, green screen that is on its blue side right now. But uh, yeah, that, that just arrived yesterday. Uh, so I know roughly uh, how many... I know roughly how many videos I need to finish sort of the Minecraft Dungeon series. Uh, it will be ending on the... I think it's the 30th... It's the 30th or 31st. It's the last day of January, whichever one that is. I just don't remember at the moment. But yeah, in the previous episode I said we'd do some more seasonal trials. Uh, those have expired, so we're not going to be doing those, obviously. Uh, I'm looking for a... Let's see, I'm looking for a daily challenge that will be interesting. So this one, game is over when any player is down. That's scary. Uh, emeralds, heal the player by 4 HP. Okay. This is the desert temple. This is the boss that might actually genuinely kill us. Players have prospected. Yeah, that's gonna be too, too much. Initial life count is set to 1. Okay. Replaced by Creeper. That's not terrible. Soggy Swamp. Problem is, is that with that one... Problem with that one... Is that the final boss actually kind of kills us a lot on that one. So this one, we have the pet count. We have Radiance. Let's see if this one... Player speed is 20%. 100% of melee mobs replaced with Skeleton. That's fine. Okay, actually, this one looks like fun. Ooh. I mean, there's no point in doing it on Apocalypse, right? Well, higher weapon power. We do like the sides, and the rapier might be nice if we could find a unique variant of it. But this is the, uh... This one gives an artifact. Hmm. I mean, I guess the other daily trials may not be too bad if we try them on lower difficulties. Not like super low, but lower than we're aware, or lower than we're supposed to do. So yeah, if you remember, the shards of power are doing a thing. They're they're doing bad things, but we've already destroyed most of them because you know we're awesome. But yeah. Okay. So we have my favorite, one of my favorite features in this game right now is that you can go inside of buildings. I think that's really cool. We have a donkey statue. I think that's a donkey. Or is that a horse? I think that's a horse actually. Don't know donkeys from horses. Um, I don't think there's a secret in here. Yeah, so yeah, I ordered some recording equipment. Uh, specifically what I ordered is like a webcam, like a nicer webcam, because like with my current webcam, I can't actually make use of the green screen, as I found out. Um, my webcam is just not, like the colors on it aren't consistent enough, so there's this like, it looks like a transmission in Star Wars. You know, it's like all staticky and strange. I mean, you would think in Star Wars they'd have better transmissions, like they have, you know, intergalactic travel, but they haven't mastered, um, you know, sending radio signals, but whatever. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, I need to get my, my actual webcam, and I think that's coming like, next week, maybe? So, yeah. I mean, I don't think you'll see it for Minecraft Dungeons videos, because I think I'm going to record all of the, all of the ones in the recipe series today. So I don't think you'll get to see it for that, and it probably wouldn't make a lot of sense for Minecraft Dungeons. But, yeah. Look forward to that in the future, probably in the Phoenix Point videos. Because Phoenix Point videos, I think it would be funny to see my reactions. Uh, and if I ever do, if I ever get around to doing RimWorld, um, maybe it'll be in the RimWorld videos too. Not the early ones, but maybe the second season of them. Because I do have, I do have some already recorded. It's just a matter of when to publish them. Yeah. They should... If I'm thinking correctly, they should be published by the time this is published. But I might be wrong. And if they're not published, you have something to look forward to, right? Yeah. Okay, I don't think the skeletons here are really kind of getting annoying. Isn't it like... Oh, 100... Oh, so we're only fighting skeletons. Okay. I didn't, my brain didn't think of 100%. Oh, 100% of melee mobs. Okay, so we can still have ranged mobs, right? Okay. This is kind of fun, actually. Just sliding around, fighting, oh, whoops. 
sliding around fighting people with the, the pillars being summoned, that's kind of cool. That would be kind of neat if there was like a wave. Okay, you know what this game needs? This game needs a wave-based mode to it. That's what this game needs. It really does. It needs like an arena kind of just how long can you go, how many how many waves can you survive. I think that would be a cool sort of game mode for this. One of the game modes would obviously be, or one of the, you know, arenas would obviously be just a nice sort of arena. Like, I think the devs could make that pretty easily with this game. Maybe just have it give you, like, temporary weapon upgrades every once in a while. Like, every couple waves, just have it, you know, give you some kind of, like, call it a fragile variant of the weapon. And so it's just, you know, the fragile part being that you lose it whenever the, whenever you leave the, the uh, area. I think that'd be kind of neat. I mean, I know they kind of did something like that with some of the DLCs, where you have, like, a lot of wave-based defense kind of things. But I think a longer, just sort of game mode with that is the only thing you do. I think that's kind of neat. Maybe have some kind of, you know, difficulty settings with, like, what mobs will spawn. So, you know, you can make a, a version of it that only spawns creepers or something. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, and I don't think any of that would be too hard, because you're not adding really any any maps or any... I mean, you're adding sort of a map, but not really content. You know, it's just rewiring the existing content. And I did not at all see that explosive pillar there. Okay, you're just getting annoyed. So looks like we got another uh, thing of phantom armor, which we don't need. Yeah, the ice in this game is kind of funny. Now, I don't remember if we have to fight a boss in this one. I don't think that's true. I think this is like the beginning of the Creeping Winter thing, so it doesn't have a boss. You know, the second one has it. But I mean, the boss for this one wasn't that hard anyway. Oh, exist. Okay. Oh yeah, the, the ice dudes, the isologists, or whatever they're called. I saw these throwing snowballs at you, okay. I remember all this stuff now. Oh yeah, I guess it must be... I guess it's fun because we have the, the higher speed. That's why the ice feels so different, I think. I guess that's kind of cool in this, uh... In this... Biome, I guess you'd call it. Okay, thank goodness you didn't see us because your attacks are kind of annoying. Okay. But yeah. Um, not really sure what else is new. Let's see, I need I probably need to get some kind of lighting, because I don't think my um I don't think the light that's attached to the ceiling in this room is actually gonna be that useful for recording, just because it kinda distorts Oh, I've never seen this at this orientation. That's interesting. Because it kind of distorts the... Uh, I'm just do this. It kind of distorts the coloring on the screen, on the green screen. So the problem is, is that you can't... Uh, like, the camera can't, can't really work with the green screen unless it's a consistent color. So yeah, I might just have to buy a standalone light, which is kind of annoying. Oh, that was dumb. I just used all of my arrows. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't remember if this is required or not. I really, I just don't remember any of this area. Which I guess is good. I guess it'll create more interesting video when I inevitably get surprised by something I've seen about 15,000 times. Yeah, in case you don't know, uh, Minecraft Dungeon stuff is ending on the, at the end of January. I think I've said that in this version of this recording. The problem is, is that I, I changed my recording settings to, um, record Phoenix Point, and I didn't change them back, so it wasn't actually recording this, it wasn't recording this window, unfortunately. It was recording a non-existent window. So yeah, I had to redo like part of this recording. Not too much, maybe like the first five or so minutes of it. But yeah, it was 
it, it just means that I'm a little out of sorts, is what I said at the beginning. Because I've said it twice now, and I can't remember which version of it you guys have seen. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm ending it just because there's not really that much new content, and just replaying the same maps over and over, I think, isn't going to be that interesting. But yeah, there's not, there's not a whole lot to really talk about other than, like, channel stuff, but there's only so much you can really say. Like, I think I've said all of my thoughts on this game, and I could do something where I, like, try to make crazy weapons and stuff, but that would require... That would require a lot of work for not a lot of output. Like, I would have to do two or three hours of recording per video or something. And just grinding the same maps over and over isn't very interesting for me to do in my personal time. And plus, at this point with the channel, I kinda need... kinda need stuff that is content efficient. Like, I need to be able to make a lot of content with minimal recording. Not minimal effort, like I'm fine putting all the effort in, it's just the actual time. You know, I don't want to spend 10 hours on a single video just because that's kind of inefficient at this point. You know, maybe whenever I have a larger backlog, it'll be much more, like, feasible to do. Like, I'd really love to do some programming stuff, I'd love to do, you know, maybe even some modding stuff or something like RimWorld. But it's just, it takes so much time to do some of that, and like right now, just because I don't have the knowledge for it. I mean, for programming, I can do that pretty much off the cuff, I think. Um, but yeah, look forward to that sort of stuff. Well, I mean, programming in certain languages, like I could do some Java design pattern stuff very easily. And I might do that at some point. But just the whole, you know, how do you build this kind of application, that might take a little bit more. Just because I gotta find a good way to explain it. You know, I would do like a Java how to sort of thing, but that's like everyone knows. Like, there's just so many people who have said that way better than I have. Like, that understand, like, not understand, but people that can phrase it much better than I can. I mean, I might do it just for, just for the practice of sort of making tutorial type videos. Okay, we don't need to go over there. It's a massive arrow. But yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking now, for the future. It's because I do want to have some, you know, some variety sort of content. I've also been thinking about... Uh, can I roll across here? I can't. Cool. Yeah, I've also been thinking about some political stuff. Oh, we have the Illusioner. Right, my least favorite boss in the entire game, the Illusioner. Wherever he might be. Oh, wow. Yeah. See why he's my least favorite boss. We can walk away at worst. Yeah, we'll just walk away. Cause he's gonna be too frustrating to fight. We'll take the supply chest, that's good. I didn't see if we got the arrows or not, I think we did. But yeah, I've kind of been wanting to do some political stuff as well. Um, just the crazy place that politics is at right now. Mostly just like American politics and figuring out like, what. Not really figuring out, but more like. You know, informational videos on who the you know who the people are in Congress right now and stuff like that. You know, it's very important for people to know that. And it's going to be more more important going forward. And yeah. Yeah. I don't remember how long this level is either. I seem to remember it being actually pretty long, because I think the two I think the two missions in each um, DLC are like actually extra long just to sort of make up for the fact that there's only two. Oh, geez, come on. Okay. Back to 300 and something arrows. We can do this. I don't think bosses can follow you between areas. I don't 
gonna hit any mod actually. I don't think so. Kind of reflexively hit the healing potion there just to, uh, just in case we got stunned. But I am surprised at how little we are actually dying here. Also, it seems like we're using the base a little bit less than normal, so let's just use that. Oh wow, that was lucky. Okay. But yeah, I mean, if you have ideas for other content that I can do on the channel, or different ways that I can make Minecraft dungeons more interesting, uh, please feel free to suggest them. I would uh, like to keep playing dungeons, but uh, I'd love to get to Apocalypse level 20. But it doesn't... the difficulty levels don't change enough about the game for it to be more interesting. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's sort of, just the enemies have more health, and then they have more dangerous abilities, but there's not, there's not enough ways for me to try different stuff that would be interesting. Like, in something like Diablo, you have, like, the seasons kind of, kind of thing, or Diablo 3, I should say, you have the seasons kind of thing, you also have different classes and different builds. Whereas in this, while you do have different classes and different builds, they don't have necessarily different abilities than that. Just spamming the, the potion button and it wasn't working. Uh, okay, that was too early to use that. Actually, can we roll across here? Oh, it looks like we can. Oh, that's so cool. I guess if you had multi-roll you could get across there uh, without having to... without dying, basically. But yeah, like Diablo 3 has the season stuff, and Diablo 2 has like different class trees you can explore. Um, and with those, you can actually find gear for like your main account. Whereas this, it doesn't really have much of that. Like if I started a new character, there's not really there's not really any advantage to doing that. I wonder if I could do Diablo 2. I wonder if I could find. I wonder where I'd even get it. I wonder if I can buy it from Blizzard still or not. I actually don't know any of that. That's interesting. Uh, I know that there's other Diablo sort of likes, like the ARPG kind of stuff that have come out. I know there's like Grim Dawn that got an update like within the past year or something maybe? Maybe past two years? Year and a half? I know Titan Quest does too every once in a while. They, they give it an update. But, I don't know, Titan Quest never really grabbed me, even though I think it's actually a pretty good game. It never really grabbed my attention, and I'm not sure why. Uh, Green Dawn, I played that through to the end. Uh, didn't really see much point in continuing after I beat it, but maybe there is a point, I don't know. Oh, wow. I actually legitimately died that time. As opposed to the stun you thrown off. That's interesting. I wonder if it's gonna die here, that would that would make sense. But actually Grim Dawn might be might be something to do then. Yeah, it might take over sort of the ARPG kinda niche. Let's lower the drawbridge. I think we need to hit both of these to do that. Yeah yeah yeah, people are gonna get angry. Cool, I don't care. Oh no, another illusion are really? Alright, well it's kinda lazy at this point. Okay. Okay, run. Oh god. This is always so difficult. Boy. See, this is a bug I think in Minecraft Dungeons. Boss music multiple times. I guess it's like the complete challenge sort of thing. And so we completed three challenges. One was the wave from lowering the drawbridge. The other one was the wave from the second lowering. And the third one was the illusion. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't care. The shard is within. This always looks like a face to me. I don't actually know if it is, though. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, this animation. That's cool. We don't need the fishing rod at all. We can get rid of that, 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 and that. We still need the multi-scrap. I mean, like, I need to be able to just, like... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, we need, like, a multi-scrap sort of thing. I need to be able to just right-click all of this to be junk. Like, I need to be able to right-click, mark it as junk, and then just say, scrap all junk, or something like that. Let's see, the blacksmith, on Apocalypse, and Apocalypse Plus, okay. So, what else can we do? Uh, hmm. We need to complete stuff on Apocalypse Plus, so this might be possible. Yeah, I don't like this game over any time the player is downed. That's just too dangerous. However... We might be able to do the Panda Plateau. Yeah, we can do Panda Plateau on Apocalypse Plus. That has two benefits. The first one is that it helps us upgrade stuff, and then the second one is that it will give us another artifact. But, uh, yeah, we will do that in the next episode. Uh, so yeah, in the next episode we will go to Panda Plateau, we will try to get some new stuff. Oh yeah, let's see what the village merchant has. Uh, nothing particularly interesting. Uh, and nothing particularly interesting from you. Okay. How about you? Mm. Why does that have a crack in it? Why does this crate have a crack in it? Is that... Also, do these colors have any... have any significance? I want to see if I restock you. Okay, so the melee weapon crates always have a crack in them. That's interesting. Okay. I was curious if, if that meant anything, but I suppose it doesn't. But yeah, in the next episode, we'll go to Planta Pet. Panda Plateau. And uh, try to finish off our upgrades. And we will probably talk a little bit more about Grim Dawn and stuff like that. Probably think more about that. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me. And uh, if you like the video, if you like the past 22 minutes, uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. Uh, otherwise, have a great day.